We now take you to the only theater in Texas bringing together actors with physical and mental challenges with those who have no disabilities by using theater to break down societal barriers, changing lives one act at a time. Getting married in two weeks and she's a wonderful, intelligent girl. Well, I love the philosophy that family. Dionysus has with using, you know, uh, special needs or disabled actors in all of their productions. I think that idea, that method that they, they have and, and utilize is something that is, I think more theater should do that. And Even though I have disability too, you know, I have a sensitive of hearing since, you know, when it gets loud it hurts me. But the moment I walked in and not only I made some friends over, but I just showed them what kind of acting is all about ever since I did from the high school. And people are starting to, be, starting to believe me and respected me the way I do and the way I did for them because there's nothing to underestimate. On any surface. In 1997, Deborah Nowinski founded Dionysus Theater in memory of her 15-year-old son Dustin, who passed away from bone cancer, as a place where actors with physical and mental challenges could feel at home. We kind of strip away the negativity um, or the, the negative uh, connotations and fear uh, that come towards those people who um, are disabled. Well, happy is good too. If you're happy, you can also be loved like, because you're in a good mood, right? The biggest moral of the story is sometimes we let those little John things Dulani, get in the Dulani. way of some quality friendship. Jean Dulani? I never heard of him. The Dulani Gallery? And it's really just in the eye of the beholder type of thing. But the idea that you can kind of look at something and find it beautiful or find it hideous um, just kind of really shows human nature in itself, that we're, we're very adaptable and we're very opinionated as a species. And we want to give a shout out to 713 News reporters Andrew Barrett and Michael Escamilla, who star in this production. If you want to check out art, the play runs from September 10th through the 25th. Please go to 713news.com for more information.